in this video from countlab.co.uk we'll be looking at uh, some of the reasons why a keyboard may not be working. So the first thing to check is when I turn this machine on you'll see that the display very quickly flashes. Now some people may think this machine is actually powered on but as you can see there's no power save and the keyboard is completely uh, irresponsive to uh, the button presses. So to solve this you simply move it to the reg but you can actually move it to the X or the Z position. Simply then if I just press one of these buttons, I'll get an error which shows me the keyboard's working. Simply move the key to the reg position, put the sail in, and now we can see that it's all working. Another reason why your keyboard may not be working is because you may have done a report the night before, for example, on the Z position and not noticed that you've gone through to a, a future use uh, programming position, which is here. So it's a single dot and that's in between the PRG and the Z. And as you can see, the display has gone to a single zero. So the machine looks like it's ready to use, but as you can see, the keyboard is completely dead because this is designed for future use. And again, to solve this, you simply remove the key back round to the red position, and then just pop yourself through as normal. Another simple way that you can actually test to see if your machine's working, or the keyboard's working, is to simply remove the till roll. If we remove the till roll, then the printer has a sensor in it, which will actually detect whether uh, there's a till roll there to protect the printer head. So now, if I simply, in the reg position, press any mark, I get PE. Which is basically just telling me that there's no paper in the machine. If we simply turn the power off to the machine, pop the roll back in again. The sensor will then detect that there's paper in it. But the best thing about this, it shows that the keyboard is actually doing something else. You wouldn't get the, the error being shown, not the PE error. So check the papers in, check that you've got the key into the reg, the X or the Z position. And finally, check it's not on this, this dot. If all this has been done, then the next thing to do is to make sure or to check that none of the buttons are stuck down. Now there could either be some dirt perhaps or some grit, but by simply pressing all the buttons and making sure that they all pop back up again, one in hand will show you that the keyboard uh, again is, is not actually locked or frozen. Uh, if this is not the case, then you can also, we carry all the spare parts for these machines, so you can even replace the keyboard. And we've got a video which is CLX104, if you search for that on the Count Lab website, which will show you how to replace the keyboard. Thank you for watching this video.